I fundamentally believe that the work we do together inside Make Way, how we support one another, how we listen and change perspectives and transform our ways of doing and being and seeing internally across all of our diversities, across all of the challenges that we're facing. Um, that is the work. That is the work that you do if you're part of an organization that is actually trying to transform systems and cultures and behaviors and actions and policies. To ask you to think about yourselves and to find that best place to hear about who you are. You recognize these green shirts downtown sure quite a do. lot? Sure do. Like, it, this is like a sense of community in itself. And really the only way we're gonna see change is, is people really committed to that transformative work and, and integrating this into their lives every single day. Uh, it can't just be a policy you put on your website. But I also acknowledge your point that it is hard to hold authentic relationships and build authentic relationships across huge geographies and different communities and different cultures. And I think that getting brave about more relational approaches to philanthropy is important. My grandmother's advice to me was to help people in taking that initiative um, because other people might have a difficult time asking for help, so it could change their day or even their lives by just taking that first initiative. Just learn to be more vulnerable and be more true to yourself and coming into your, to your own um, will continue to impact those around you. Finding your center, your awareness to your belly, whatever it is that might help steady you here. We're going to be here for one more deep breath. And exhale, releasing, coming back up and gently releasing the leg. I really think about um, systems and how systems integrate and how they connect but really how to sense make, really how to make meaning out of all of this. You know, I think that uh, for me over the last year, I've realized, you know, we're, on, we're all only here for a certain amount of time and, and, and we have this opportunity to make an impact. And I think that understanding how these systems connect, these forest systems and how to honor and respect and think about um, you know, I think sometimes we think about the environment as fragile and we don't understand how resilient and beautiful and strong it is. And it's, it's us, it's us and our motivations and our political failings and our failings to actually stand up and try to make a difference that's the problem. It has nothing to do with nature and natural systems and what they can do. People keep saying, oh, return to normal, return to normal, but normal for a lot of us is not, has not been a great place and it has not been a safe space. So the urgency is to shift what we consider to be normal. So yeah, one of the, one of the things I'm taking away from this week is, um, you know, the feeling that I belong and I'm meant to be here in this world and in this space and um, Chief Bobby Joseph and uh, the Indigenous Yoga Collective really reminded us that we all belong here. What we've done together here this week has put all the beautiful ingredients together um, to build that kind of human connection, to, to really take on some of the hardest and most challenging um, issues the planet has ever faced.